Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you know, I love slingshots. I love them because they're powerful, accurate and can be nice too. This is one that I made for an US law professor. I'm going to send it to him with a finger and thumb support so shooter next week. But of course, a slingshot is nothing without rubber. Rubber wasn't invented before the mid-1800s though, by Charles Goodyear. Um, however, um, what did the Dennis the Menace kids use before rubber was invented? Well, let's have a look at it. So this is probably the easiest thing. It's actually a sling. Um, it's also called a David sling because that is what King David supposedly used when he killed uh, the giant Goliath. And it's very easy because what you do is it has a loop on one side and you slip it over one of your fingers and then it has a pouch and the other end just has a knot so you can put your projectile in this case a used golf ball and then you can swing it and throw it let's do that very powerful but it takes a lot of practice to hit anything with it So, the improvement of that handheld sling is actually a sling on a stick. It's basically the same setup, but it's attached to a pole and can be really be built within five minutes. And it has a loop that goes over a nail or anything else like a small rod. And um, the idea is that if you throw it, it will detach automatically and the shot falls. So because of the long lever, this is very powerful and you can actually use it to throw very heavy projectiles with tremendous force. So again, we take our golf ball. So this is really powerful, but it takes a long time to be accurate with it. So I thought about would it, have been, would it have been possible to make a slingshot like weapon without any rubber at all? So I looked at ancient weapon design and I found that they used torsion um, uh, weapons like ballistas and so on that used twisted rope as an energy source. And you see that twisted rope actually works pretty good. So they use it for catapults and um, ballistas. This is really only hemp rope, very simple, and um, it's already pre-twisted. Pre uh, it's hard as stone already. So this really works like a combination of a crossbow and a slingshot. So you can pull it and release it, and as you see, there's force behind it. And if you need more power, what you can simply do is twist it a little bit more, and you get automatically get more power. We can do that on both sides. Friction holds it in place. So let's shoot with it. So I think I proved the theory that it is possible to make a slingshot like weapon without any rubber at all. Is it good? Well, not really. It's, it's totally weak and very, very clumsy, but I think it's interesting. And of course you can see that if you turn this into a crossbow and you use a lot more rope and pre-twist it much harder and probably also take a different type of rope that's a little bit more elastic, like modern paracord, you can make a really, really powerful weapon out of this. But this is probably my weirdest slingshot. I still like it, even if it's weak. So as a little bonus, 
I made a new projectile for my blunderbuss slingshot. It's actually a GoPro arrow. Unfortunately, the protective case doesn't fit, so um, I hope that GoPro survives the shot. We'll just shoot it straight up in the air while the camera is running. Okay, the camera is running. We'll now put it inside of the weapon. That shattered the LCD from the little camera. Well, it was one without a display. I need another one anyway. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye.